Right. I think we have um, a lot of people joined already, so we can just start. Well, hello and welcome, everyone. And thank you very much for joining us for today's webinar. My name is Ezzat Nakshe. I'm the International Business Development Manager at Hydro International Limited. Uh, by way of introduction, Hydro International is a leading provider of advanced technologies for the control and treatment of water and wastewater. Uh, today, we will be talking about the Hydrobreak Optimum Vortex Flow Control. And our presenter today is Mr. Shaji Khan. Uh, Shaji has been working with Hydro International as an application engineer for almost six years, and he's based in our regional office in Dubai. Um, he's been involved in projects across many regions, all the way from North Africa, the Middle East, Southeast Asia, China, and Australia. Uh, this exposure has provided Shaji with a wealth of experience on best practices for designing and sizing sustainable and effective solutions in the areas of stormwater treatment, flow control, and flood prevention. Um, your active participation is important throughout this session. Um, for the moment, I have everyone on mute, just to avoid background noises that may distract you from listening to the webinar. If you have any questions during the presentation, please type them into the question box. Um, I'll make sure to bring them up after the presentation, and we'll do our best to cover all the questions today during this session. Um, for just to notice, a recorded version of this webinar will be available on our YouTube channel within the next two to three days. Uh, now, without further ado, we will turn the time over to Shaji Khan. Shaji, welcome. Thank you, Isla. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Um, thank you for joining us for this webinar on Hydrobreak Optimum Vortex Flow Control. My name is Shaji Khan, and I'm an Applications Engineer at Hydro. Uh, I'm based here in Dubai with my team, and I provide uh, technical support to our customers and distributors in the Middle East region and beyond. Uh, in today's webinar, we will talk about Hydro International as a company very briefly, uh, and then I will introduce to you our water explore control device, Hydrobrake Optimum. During the presentation, if you would like to ask a question, please send it to us in the chat box so we can discuss it towards uh, the end. Hydro International is uh, headquartered in the UK, in Cleveland, near Bristol. Uh, we have six other offices in the UK, two in US, one in Dubai, one in Melbourne, Australia, uh, and one in China. Anything outside of the Americas and Europe is overseen from our Dubai office. We work with water companies, design consultants, contractors, municipalities all over the world, either directly or through a distributor. In terms of number strength, Hydro International has more than 340 employees. To put it simply, we have three simple core capabilities. Number one, slowing water down or controlling discharge of water. This could be in form of safely dropping from a high elevation or limiting discharge flow rate. Uh, number two, taking things out of water, meaning, meaning sorted liquid separation. We provide stormwater and industrial wastewater treatment solution, and also advanced grid management systems for municipal and sewage treatment plant. We help our customers understand, uh, and number three, we help our customers understand the water environment with the hydrometry monitoring and consultancy solution. Now to our today's topic, the need for controlling discharge. Cities are expanding. Where I'm based is a great example. On the left, you see a couple of pictures from Doha and the Dubai downtown areas. Before 2006, these were largely areas, uh, in largely desert areas. In the right column, you can see dense urban development. People who have been here for more than 20 years have seen these cities transform from desert areas into dense concrete jungles. As you know, that when, you, when there is built up of impervious surfaces such as concrete, there is also increase in stormwater runoff. In a high density urban development, we can expect up to 55% of stormwater uh, as runoff. This of course needs to be managed and drained properly. Otherwise such scenes become a uh, regular occurrence. Granted, these are extreme cases, but uh, such events are not heard of. So why does this happen? 
Well, in a balanced drainage network, the drainage channels are large enough to handle the runoff. As imperviousness of the upstream catchment increases, we see more and more water heading into the drainage channel. This can potentially, rather, eventually cause flooding. So what do we do? Um, the conventional thinking is that there should be large downstream storage to accommodate excess flow, or we should expand the drainage network. As you can imagine, uh, these are rather expensive propositions and not always practical. The most effective way to solve this problem is to build localized storages in areas that are causing the access runoff and then discharge the flow in a controlled fashion. This will prevent any overload on the downstream drainage network. And this method is also cost effective. Now, storage can be in the form of uh, attenuation tanks, or we can utilize the spare capacity in the pipes, in the oversized pipes for this purpose. And that's where the hydrobake optimum comes in. The hydrobake optimum is a vortex flow control device, and it can be part of any flow attenuation system. Its function is to minimize flood risk and effectively transport pollutants. This is especially important for combined sewer networks, the pollutant bit. Um, the hydrobrake uh, optimum does that by controlling the discharge. Obviously, any flow that is not going downstream has to be stored somewhere. This is what the device looks like. It comes in two main uh, variants, uh, the S-type range, which is suitable for surface water systems, and it requires a sump. Uh, the other is the C-type range, which is suitable for stormwater, foul water, or combined sewer system. It is a sumpless device, and the inlet and outlet are at the same inlet level. The C-type allows the chamber to drain completely when there is no inflow. This is a very desirable property when dealing with wastewater, as it prevents any odor issues due to stagnation. The device is uh, very scalable. Uh, the hydrobrake uh, optimum can be designed to discharge one liter per second uh, or up to thousands of liters per second per unit. We will see some examples in this uh, presentation today. The material of construction, uh, the most common material of construction for the hydrobrake optimum is 304 or 316 stainless steel. This is an accepted standard for most stormwater and wastewater applications. As a material grade, these are suitable for chloride levels up to 200 ppm um, or for 304 and less than 1000 ppm for 316 stainless steel. When service water has chloride levels higher than 1000 ppm, such as applications with high salinity groundwater, we can coat the 316 hydrobrake with the polyglass coating, which is a polymer coating with glass flakes. Furthermore, if a lot of abrasive grit is present in the flow, we can apply an abrasion resistant top coat called Armagel. Armagel is a copolymer coating with glass flakes and silicon carbide, which as you know, is a very hard material, uh, very abrasion, abrasion resistant material. Both of these coatings are suitable for saturated chloride solutions, which means they will perform well in high saline um, environments. And these are chemically inert, so they prevent any chemical action on the steel. If the customer doesn't want a coated unit, uh, we also offer an option of duplex or super duplex steel. These grades uh, these grades are suitable for chloride levels up to 36. Uh, 100 uh, ppm for duplex and 26,000 ppm for super duplex. Um, and finally, for small flow and head ranges, we can supply plastic units which are made of high grade LDPE. Uh, the discharge flow rate for these units, uh, plastic unit, is 1 to 20 liters per second with up to 2 meters of hydraulic head. You can install a hydrobrake uh, in its own chamber, as you can see here um, in this graphic, or you can install it inside a tank, inside a concrete tank. 
Um, this basically just, is just showing you a complete stormwater management system, um, parts of which uh, uh, hydro supplies. Uh, but just to focus on the hydro break, this can be installed inside its own control chamber. Let's have a look at how the device works. It is a completely passive, non-mechanical machine that requires no power. Um, on the screen, you see a Perspex unit. The actual device is just as hollow. There's nothing inside it. Uh, the hydro break controls discharge using a vortex, which is generated by just the geometry of the device. Let's look at different phases of operation um, in a step-by-step -step, uh, uh, slides. In low flow conditions, the unit allows unrestricted through flow. The hydro brake is acting as a large orifice, allowing high flows uh, compared to a simple orifice plate at low hydraulic head. This phase remains in effect until the maximum allowed discharge limit is reached. Then it starts to restrict the discharge. The point at which the hydro brake optimum starts restricting the flow is what we call a flush flow point. The flush flow point starts the transition phase. As inflow increases, the head increases as discharge flow is throttled. The turbulent flow patterns develop as um, vortex continually forms and collapses. Um, trapped air pockets produce back pressure, which work against the flow. At kick flow point, the vortex starts to take its form, and the discharge flow rate increases as it approaches the design point. In high flow or post initiation phase, the vortex is fully formed. The flow is restricted to a predetermined level. Um, the unit is acting as a significantly smaller orifice than the physical size of the outlet. This is achieved by an air core, which you can see formed inside the unit. This air core takes away some area of the outlet, leaving limited room for water to pass through, effectively reducing the size of the outlet. Now, here's a closer look of the vortex in the clear S-type unit. As you can see, the air core is restricting the outflow through the opening. The water has significantly less cross-sectional area to pass through. Now, why use a hydro brake? Why not just use an orifice plate? Well, as we just saw in the video, a hydro brake will always be larger than an equivalent orifice. This means larger clearance and reduced risk of blockage. Let's have a look at the head discharge curves of hydro brake in blue and an equivalent orifice in red. In this case, the design flow rate is um, 600 liters per second uh, at 7.5 meters of head acting on it. The hydro brake outlet is uh, 681 millimeters and the orifice required would be 324 millimeters. Furthermore, you can see that how much more hydro brake is discharging at low head than an orifice. This directly contributes to the reduced storage requirement, meaning the volume that is being discharged at low head is the volume that does not have to be stored upstream. This greatly reduces the cost of of the project. This feature can also be leveraged to optimize the use of space in the existing pipe network. With the hydrobrake optimum, we can reduce the storage requirement uh, by up to 30%, which is a, a big saving uh, for any project. Another advantage of hydrobrake is that you can get tailored hydraulic characteristics to suit your requirements. Normally, we would size the hydro brake for maximum hydraulic efficiency. This means an increased flush flow and a delayed kick flow. In simple terms, it means that we are increasing the discharge volume while staying within the discharge limits. Again, the volume you discharge early 
is the volume you do not have to store. However, in some cases, like in a retrofit application where the chamber is already constructed and you have limited space, you may need to optimize the design to a minimum footprint, which changes the hydraulic response. This gives a more linear discharge profile like an orifice, but it is still a better option because it provides you larger clearance, therefore a reduced risk of blockage. Hydrobrake Optimum is a well-researched product with over 600 days of uh, lab tests and 10 years of computer processing time to run CFD models. Um, the Hydrobrake has been installed and in operation at thousands of sites around the world successfully. The design and performance of the device has been assessed independently and the Hydrobrake Optimum is BBA and WRC approved. This independent certification is crucial to assure customers that the product will perform as claimed. There are many flow control devices out there, but not all of them have certifications. So this is an important factor to look at when making a selection. Uh, Hydro, Hydro International is also a ISO 9001 and a ISO 14001 certified company. The Hydrobrick Optimum can be future-proof uh, against climate change and future development through adjustable, interchangeable inlets. We can future-proof the device for up to 20% of the design flow rate. This is done by providing an adjustable inlet plate uh, that, allows, uh, that allows you to adjust the flow discharge flow rate at a later stage post-installation. Let's say your current design allows you to discharge 100 liters per second. But in future, you will be allowed to discharge 120 liters per second. If you've got a specially designed hydrobrake installed, then this objective can be achieved without changing the device. An operator will simply need to go inside the manhole where it's up, when it's isolated, loosen the screws uh, on the inlet, and slide the plate to the desired marked level. This will alter the discharge flow rate to a predetermined value. We design the uh, hydrobrake optimums to be structurally robust. Before any unit is fabricated, we perform a finite element, a finite element uh, analysis to ensure that we use the right thickness of steel and add reinforcing bracing to provide the steel the strength it needs to cope with high hydraulic heads. This protects the device against any structural deformation. Smaller units, um, this is another uh, big advantage of uh, a hydrobrake uh, optimum. The smaller units are fitted with a bypass door, uh, which can be operated from ground level. This can be used to drain down the chamber in case there is a blockage at the intake. The bypass door is normally closed and is only used in case of, uh, in case of blockage. Uh, the bypass door is fitted with a steel rope and a handle which is attached near the cover on the ground level. Once the handle is placed back on the hook, the bypass door closes under its own weight after use. The Hydrobrake uh, Optimum has a very simple installation procedure. It is most commonly installed on a head wall inside a concrete chamber using anchor bolts. The chamber size differs depending on the size of the unit, of course. But if your site has a special requirement, there are multiple options available. The Hydrobrake Optimum can be installed using a flat or a curved mounting plate or a push fit spigot. From an installation point of view, the Hydrobrake uh, Optimum have concrete benching around the unit with a self-cleansing slope. Uh, about 15% uh, and a low flow channel. This allows the low flow sediment debris to pass straight to the hydrobrake without accumulating in the chamber. And during drain down, that is after the rain event, um, the debris collected in the chamber gradually collects into the, uh, into the low flow channel and is carried away. So nothing stays inside the chamber. 
Uh, what about maintenance? Well, um, because it's a non-mechanical device, there are no moving parts in it. The maintenance requirement is minimal and limited to visual inspection. Uh, this is uh, just to ensure that there are no large objects or debris inside the chamber that could cause problems in the next rainfall. And there are no spare parts or replaceable items. So it's basically a, uh, you know, you install it and then you don't have to worry about this uh, device. Uh, I invite you to use our online design tool to size the hydro brakes. If you Google hydro brake optimum design tool, this will probably be the first result you see, but I, I put the link uh, on the screen. From the online design tool, you can generate a dimension sketch um, of the unit with some basic information related to the chamber size and the outlet pipe size, etc. Uh, you can also generate a hydraulic curve, uh, which will show you the characteristics of the unit, of how it's behaving hydraulically. And uh, you can get modeling data from the online design tool as well. Um, you can get data in uh, micro drainage or in this format or in .csv format, which you can feed into your hydraulic models um, and, uh, and see how the unit is behaving. The Hydrobrake Optimum has been used extensively in the UK and we have over 30,000 installations worldwide. I'm going to share with you a few select, selected references that we have in the region. So the first one is um, ExpoLink uh, 2020, it's a very prestigious, prestigious project for us. You can see a few Hydrobrakes that we have uh, supplied here. Um, the sizes range, the, you know, you can place, it's so small that it's put on a, on a table. Um, so, and, it, it, and the sizes vary. Um, the discharge flow also varied between 10 liters per second up to 200 liters per second in this project. Uh, one special thing I want to mention here is a unit on the right. This one has a circular mounting plate. Uh, this was a special request from our customer. As the concrete chamber was already constructed, and it had a top slab in place. The only access into the chamber was through a 600 millimeter manhole cover. So we designed the mountain plate in such a way that it can pass through the circular opening. Um, this is just to show you that we can adapt our designs to your needs. It's a very customizable product. Uh, another example, uh, this is uh, this hydro paper was produced for a project in Qatar, the industrial area. The discharge flow rate is 6,000 liters per second at 14 meters of hydraulic head. This unit will be used to control the discharge uh, into a three meter diameter micro tunnel that runs through the industrial area. Okay, this is another special one. Uh, firstly, uh, this is unit we supplied in Jabalali industrial area in UAE. It's, it's, it's still, it's being shipped at the moment. Um, Firstly, it's a very large unit. It's designed to discharge 4,800 liters per second at 6.43 meters of head. Um, but the, the special thing about it is this is a super duplex unit. So this is made of super duplex steel. The reason for using super duplex in this project was high groundwater salinity. Uh, so it was a requirement from the customer that we use nothing but super duplex in this situation. A few hydro brakes uh, were supplied in Haraman railway station in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. These units were installed downstream of a uh, stormwater attenuation tank to control the discharge into the network. These are a couple of units with uh, polyglass coating. I just wanted to show you uh, how the coated unit looks like. The base unit, the base is 316 and we have coated it with a polyglass uh, coating, um, which provides it with, uh, uh, with the protection it needs because this was going to go into a very highly saline environment. Uh, so uh, it, the, the, the polyglass coating provides the protection it needs and prevents any corrosion. And finally, the white card flood alleviation screen. Um, we've installed three massive units uh, in this scheme where the combined discharge of 33,000 liters per second. The hydro brakes are using the flood plane upstream as a storage uh, while providing a controlled discharge uh, into the stream 
uh, going into passing through a town. Um, through this webinar, my objective was to introduce the Hydrobreak Optimum to you and discuss its operation and applications. Um, I would welcome any questions that you might have either now or via the chat box or via email. Thank you very much, Shaji. Fantastic presentation. Um, I'm going through the questions now, and uh, there, there is a question which I've seen um, a couple of times already. Um, it's about the presentation, whether it will be available to download or not. Um, yes, definitely. So uh, hopefully, uh, within a couple of days, we'll send you a link where you can download the presentation. Um, another question here from Sami. Uh, Sami is asking, what happens if there is if, if something like uh, if it gets blocked? Yeah. Um, okay. So in case in case of any blockages, um, number one, you have the bypass door, uh, so uh, you can drain down the system and then remove the blockage. Um, number two, um, if if you have if it's if it's sort of stuck inside, then you can use water jets or rotting from the other end to uh, to remove any blockages that are that are present. Uh, but normally, um, if you have a high risk of uh, blockages, then you can install a mesh around the intake of the unit, uh, a large uh, you know, perforation mesh, which will not allow any large objects to, uh, to go into the device. Thank you, Shaji. Um, another question here from David. Uh, what information is needed to size a hydrobrake optimum flow control? Um, we need to know the discharge flow rate, the maximum discharge flow rate that you want the device to restrict, and we need to know the hydraulic head at which that discharge flow rate would happen. So these are the two main things, two basic things we need. If you can provide us with uh, information about the uh, the application, whether it's stormwater or wastewater, that would also help us make a proper or suitable selection. All right. Um, another question from uh, Kumar. Do you have an installation manual or can we get support during an installation? Uh, absolutely. Uh, we have installation manual that we can provide you uh, when you have a, if you have a project uh, or a product requirement. We also provide site support. Um, I know these days traveling is a bit difficult, but we normally are on site either directly or through our partners uh, to provide installation support uh, wherever needed. Excellent. Uh, right, so another question here. Um, would hydrobrake can eliminate nutrients? It's used for stormwater quality, quality control purposes or only to control the quantity? Uh, this is only for quantity. Uh, although one advantage uh, hydrobrake optimum has in terms of quality is because of the scour, because of the turbulence that's created inside, uh, it oxygenates or aerates the water, which reduces um, the release of uh, noxious gases uh, into the uh, in in the chamber. So it does reduce help a little bit about um, with the odor, but it's not specifically designed to do any quality control. What it does best is it allows you to transport the pollutants into uh, you know, into the network. Thank you, Shaji. Um, another question from Mohammed. Uh, when do we use super duplex? Um, super duplex is used uh, firstly on if there is a very high salinity uh, in the surface water. So let's say, for example, if you have um, the chloride levels in the water higher than 3,600 ppm, up to 26,000 ppm, that's the range where you would use a super duplex um, device. Right, uh, got another question from uh, Ersin. Um, is there any HDBE tank or manual application images or references? HDPE tank. Um, yeah, um, I think this is, I mean, obviously the focus here is more on the flow control itself uh, when it comes to the manhole 
Uh, this is usually dictated by the client, uh, whether they want a HTPE manhole or a concrete manhole. We simply need that uh, housing, whether you know whatever type of manhole it is, to to install the hydro brake at. Right, we have another question uh, from Kamyar. Um, if head increase in inlet of the hydro brake and discharge of the hydro brake uh, saturates, then do we have flood risk or system automatically goes to bypass mode? Uh, there is no built-in bypass in the uh, in the hydro brake optimum, uh, and it will as if the head level increases inside the chamber, um, then the discharge flow will also increase. So that's why it needs to be designed in a way that you give us the maximum top water level inside the chamber, uh, and then we design the maximum discharge based on that top water level. There is no integrated bypass into the in in the hydro brake optimum. Um, thank you, Shadri. Um, just so, I mean, to, to be clear, if uh, any of the answers is not clear or if you felt that question, your question was not answered, please send us again and we'll make sure to cover it uh, during the session. Um, do we have, we have another question. Uh, what is the maximum flow control? I think this, you know, this is meant uh, when it comes to the flow rate itself. So uh, there is virtually no limit to it. It's um, only limited by, um, um, you know, the downstream capacity. Uh, as you saw that we are, we were able to discharge 33,000 liters per second with three devices. So each device was discharging 11,000. That's the largest unit we have done, 11,000 liters per second. Uh, but uh, I'm sure if the, if the requirement calls for it, uh, where you have to accommodate larger flows in a single unit, uh, I'm sure we can oblige. Um, I repeated a repeated question we've got here, but it doesn't ha you know harm to go through it again. What would be the design requirements? Um, is there any typical questionnaire to understand the client needs and perform the design or conceptual design for the system? Uh, right. Okay. So uh, the basic input that we would need is the top water level or the design head and the dis design discharge flow rate. Um, this is the basic information we need. In addition to this. If you can provide us with uh, the application, or if you have any special requirements, or you want us to look at uh, your layout where your system is installed, so we can look what's going on upstream, what's going on downstream, um, then we can do that as well. But in order to just design the unit, the basic inputs are design head, discharge flow rate, and uh, uh, the type of application. Nice one. I um, think one more question. Um, what happens to upstream when you are controlling the discharge downstream? Right. So any water, so the, the purpose of the hydrobrick optimum is to control discharge downstream, right? Any water that you are not sending downstream, it has to be stored upstream. It has to be stored somewhere. Um, if there is, there has to be adequate storage required in the in the upstream uh, area um, either it could be inside the oversized pipes net pipe network or it could be an attenuation tank but it has to be stored upstream if there is inadequate storage upstream then of course it will start to cause flooding upstream the water level will start going higher and higher in, in the network and ultimately it will you know start to go over the um, uh, the, the covers so they, they, they absolutely has to be a uh, upstream storage where you can accommodate the uh, the flow. Thank you, Shaji. Um, I guess one final question before we close this session. Um, question from Danish: Can we get the rivet assembly for the hydro brake? Can we get? Sorry, what? Can you repeat that? Uh, the, the the rivet assembly. Um, I'm I'm assuming this is related, perhaps, to the modeling oh, okay. software. Right, yeah, uh, okay, so uh, I think that uh, we can provide you with CAD drawings and because the device is so scalable, um, there is no one assembly for it and we have uh, we have to size it um, every time for every single requirement. So there is, uh, and you know, the, the formulas or the calculations for those are proprietary. So we cannot share that model with you, uh, but we can, what we can share is any, um, CAD drawings uh, that you would like 
a generic CAD drawing or even site-specific CAD drawings with you uh, or even STP files so that you can take a look at them and uh, you know put them in your own uh, network. But as such, we do not have any uh, models that we can share which are generic and which can be applied um, everywhere. Thank you very much, Shaji. Um, I think we've covered um, all of the questions for today. Um, thank you, everyone, very much for you know taking time out of your day to to see our presentation. Uh, much appreciated. Please stay tuned for the next presentation on uh, controlling water uh, quality. Uh, you know, using our vortex separators and upflow filter filter systems. And um, have a lovely day.